Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Um, it's actually midnight right now, it's Sunday, but um, I am in Bakersfield and I do have church tomorrow. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna curl my hair and I just wanted to share this because um, people always ask me how I do my hair. I use this one inch wand, I think this is an inch, um, and I sleep with my curls so the next day they're not so tight. So what I'm gonna do right now is curl my hair. I'm watching a sermon right now, but I'm gonna curl my hair and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and then I'll show you guys in the morning. But I literally have to drive two hours to church tomorrow. So that's gonna be interesting, but I will vlog the whole thing. Welcome to the Sunday vlog, a day in my life. A day in my Sunday life. This is literally my life. Every single Sunday, besides the part where, that I'm here in Bakersfield, I usually go home um, the same. I go home Saturday night, but today I didn't because I was doing laundry. So now it's too late for me to leave today. So I'm going to leave in the morning. It is 12.19 now and my hair is done. That took me only a couple minutes. But it looks pretty crazy right now if you ask me. I didn't comb it out. I didn't do anything to it. I'll do that tomorrow. Hi guys, I'm ready already, but I have to be very quiet. Here is my outfit. I got this shirt from TJ Maxx. These pants are from H&M and these shoes are from TJ Maxx. So, that's the outfit. Okay, let's go, because it's time to go. Somebody's blasting oceans right now. But anyways, I am here. I'm kind of late, but grace, more grace, Lord. This is a social media team. Oh. There goes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just doing the thing that we do. <laughs> In this beautiful room. It's so bronze. It's so bronze. <laughs> so colorful. <laughs> Say hi guys. Nope. Behind the scenes of social. Three, three, two, one. But well, wait, there's more. One more time. I said one when you jumped out. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's okay. go. High energy. We're only in three, two. But well, wait, there's more. Honestly, didn't even get to film much because I was so busy serving. I sat in for the 9, I mean the 10 a.m. service and I served the 12 p.m. service and if you guys want to see any of that, I'm going to have um, my stories on my Instagram. It was amazing today. Um, Pastor Jason talked about praising, um, praising 
God in the midst of everything, a sacrifice of praise. And, you know, my, my church, we shout, we jump, we dance, and um, we don't hold back from our praise. And that's something our pastor has taught me and all of us really that it doesn't matter what people think of you, we praise God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. If there's, pe there's people at the clubs, there's people at the clubs shouting, dancing, yelling. There's people at games um, praising the football players, praising the basketball players. There's people at concerts praising the people that are singing and we can't do the same for our God? No, that's why people leave the church, go to festivals and do all of that when it's meant to be for God. If the church doesn't allow that kind of praise, shouting, dancing, yelling, um, all of that, if they don't allow that kind of praise, all those people are going to leave and take their praise to Satan, to the festivals, to the clubs. And there's nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with like sports and stuff and, you know, cheering on your team, but you're really a hypocrite if you can do that for your team and not for God. Like, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, now that I went off, it's pretty late right now. It's 2.39 and I only have a little bit of time to go get food. So I'm gonna go get food um, and you guys are gonna come with me. And yeah, one thing I wanted to share though, in this season, I really feel like the Lord has just really been teaching me um, do not rely on your gifts. I'm in a season where I'm learning you know my gifts I, I have gifts that I'm discovering right now and that's the ministry that I'm serving in and during this like this new season I'm just learning don't rely on my gifts don't rely on my talents don't rely on any of that because that's gonna fail me but relying on God is what's gonna make my gifts and my talents useful because the moment I start relying on my gifts and my talents I'm taking God out of, out of the equation and without God I can't do it without God I can't I can't wake up in the morning and come here and be here from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. without God I can't do what I do and be a mom and be a daughter of the house and you know love Jesus and all that so I've just really been learning to depend on God and not rely on my gifts and not allowing pride in, not allowing ego in. And I've learned this through YouTube too. Um, you know, my YouTube channel grew really, really fast. And it was really honestly all a test, to be honest with you guys. It's just all a test. Like, will I remain humble? Will I remain humble or will I start finding my identity in the amount of followers I have? Will I remain humble or will I start letting this get to my head and the one thing I love about Pastor Jason is that throughout everything and throughout God raising him up from the very beginning to now, he has remained humble. Those are some of the things I've been learning this season and I really felt led to share that is just to remain humble and and no matter you know how much God blesses you, no matter how how fast God raises you up, no matter if God is putting you in leadership, no matter what the Lord does in your life it's very important to remain humble because the minute we let pride in God can't bless us God can't use us God can't do anything anything through us and if you want to be used by God the number one thing you have to do is stop being prideful stop thinking you know everything because the knowledge of God is infinite the infinite knowledge of God that means there's no ending nobody knows everything and if you claim to know everything you know that's a problem because God to God we're little kids we're children he literally calls us his children like literally we're like a three-year-old probably to him at best so funny the, this is probably the second Sunday vlog I do and the first one I did I came to Welba Grill and I am back at Welba Grill because I just love that this has a drive through Okay, my order is in. As I eat, I'm gonna do a life update for you guys and just kind of share what's going on this season. Honestly, I don't know what this angle looks like. I had to change my shirt because um, I don't want to dirty my other shirt that I'm going to wear. And it looks like I'm living in my car, but <laughs> I'm not. I just left my dad's house this morning, as you guys saw in the vlog. Here it is. Where are my green onions? I'm not going to complain. Praise God for this meal. They're right here. Why am I complaining? Sorry, Lord. It repent. Really? What is this? One? Okay, no complaining. No complaining. No hot sauce. Thanks. Love that for me. 
But anyways, here's my food in all its yummy deliciousness. Does that work? My shirt says, love your neighbor. I bought this shirt like before I really knew how to dress. It's a crop top. I don't really wear it. I wear it to sleep, but um, I don't want to dirty the shirt I was wearing. Look with my onion. They didn't give me any hot sauce. How sad. Update. I'm not gonna do the life life update now just because um, I'm running low on I'm running low on time. So with that being said, um it's around what time is it? 3.44. I'm listening to the 12 p.m. service right now on my phone. And I'm gonna go to Rite Aid. I'm gonna buy some caffeine real quick. So bad, but you know what? I slept two hours and I don't even know. You know, it's the Lord because I'm just like, I don't know how I'm awake right now, but I'm going to go buy some energy drinks and go back for Lifestyle of Freedom and I'm going to, and I'm going to serve for Lifestyle of Freedom, I guess. <sighs> More grace, Lord. Help me, Lord. everyone welcome to day two of the vlog i didn't even i don't want fabric <laughs> what do you want huh i already got you starbucks it's right here you want it yeah okay Hey guys, welcome to day two of the vlog. This lighting is horrendous. Does that help? I just washed my car and filled up the tank and we got Starbucks. I got a grande ice brown sugar oatmeal espresso with no cinnamon. cinnamon. I can't say it. Cinnamon? 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 Oh my gosh. You guys know what I'm saying. With none of that, with... Oh, upside down. I can't stand with the when the espresso shots are at the bottom, and that's all I taste. It's disgusting. But Amelia wants chicken nuggets. But do you still want chicken nuggets? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, I wasn't able to finish the first part of the vlog because I got pretty busy at night. But I am gonna. I did. I am gonna answer clips from like Bible college, so you guys could see um, kind of like what, what Bible college is. I didn't even film any of the teachings, but I finished try one. I have this next Sunday off, and then next Sunday I'm in try two, so that's awesome. But anyways, um, I'm gonna finish this vlog today, so let's go do some stuff. Say, so let's go do some stuff. Let's go do some fun we, oh, this lighting, we just got to Walmart. It's not the Walmart I prefer coming to. Honestly, I wish I would have gone to another one, but I came to this one. But I'm here already. It's fine. We're going to do some grocery shopping, and you guys are going to come with me. Uh huh. No, <laughs> I think we have a future little worshiper here. She's she loves singing, so she might have a gift of music. My dad has a gift of music, so. Show everyone the toy that you got. A baby and a toddler. I'm picking out candles. I like this one. Oh, 
I don't know about I don't know about you guys but candles I need them for prayer. I don't guys, it is now Tuesday. Um, I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but today I'm going to finish up this vlog and hopefully have it up either by tonight or tomorrow. But I did get my nails done today. You see that? Focus. Hold on. Oh. Here they are. They're really cute. I just feel like my thumb came out really big, but the nail bed for this thumb is just big because this one is not that big. I might go back to fix it. I don't know yet. But I got my nails done and I have an appointment later to get my eyelashes filled. I totally forgot about that. Um, it is two o'clock so i'm gonna take the next hour and a half to clean and shower and get ready and then i'm gonna read the bible and pray and then be on my way to my appointment and yeah so let me show you guys a before right now i kind of started already but there are my mop heads because i'm gonna mop i need to put that away i need to put this away this table's a mess i got dishes they're ants oh man Gotta hate ants. Gotta love them, though. We can learn a lot from them. Um, bathroom's a mess. And gotta take my laundry to the laundry room. But, yeah. God can't bless a mess. Um, I was gone. I was out of my house basically the last two weeks because I was in Arkansas. And then I stayed at Alicia's house for a week, about a week. So, I haven't really been home and I haven't really had a chance to organize that good or deeply clean, just kind of like clean over stuff. But I want to sleep, I want to mop, I want to like clean the counters, I want to like clean, clean, clean the bathroom. I want to clean everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to bring you guys along because God can't bless a mess. We can't be messy and this is messy. I can't even think right now, this is bad. So I'm going to clean. <laughs> Hi guys. This is a very weird angle, very weird lighting, but you know what, this is what it is. I just got to my eyelash appointment. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna get my eyelashes filled. Let's do this. And I'm late. Okay guys, I'll see you after my eyelashes are done. Woo. Hey guys, so this is kind of zoomed in, isn't it? I just came out of my eyelash appointment and I really, really like these. I did volume this time um, just because I was used to a more fuller look. So these should last longer than my other ones. But these are CC curl. I used to get D curl. If you're a girl, you probably know what I'm talking about. Guys are probably like, what is she talking about? Um, so it's a little bit less curly than what I used to get and I really, really like these more than the d curl so my eyelashes are done and my nails are done so today was definitely a me day now i need to go mop and read and then i'll update you guys a little bit on you know life lately i feel like i haven't really been on youtube that much i feel like i've been mia in a way um just because i took a week off and then i uploaded a video but it was kind of like old footage so i just feel like i haven't talked to you guys in a while so i'll see you guys at the house here's my dinner i got it from a place called max grill so i'm just gonna eat this my brother gave me these chips i might eat them i don't know yet um I have to mop my floors, but other than that, it's like pretty clean now. I have to clean up this area too. I'm keeping her toys here because she likes to play here, is what I've noticed. Still gotta clean this. I mean, it's a lot better now than it was before. I got to mop. I'm about to finish right now.
It's perfect because now that I'm done mopping, I can go pick up Amelia while it dries. Nice. Yeah. Look who's back. It's Amelia. It's my toy. Forever. You could take them out like this. So you could put. <laughs> uh oh. Get that. Now I'm just gonna organize this real quick, Mommy, but we're home. Yeah, I'll pick it up right now. It is 10 p.m. We need to go to sleep. Okay. So we're home now, about to go to sleep. See, so I'm going to sleep. I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. It might be a short one, might be a long one. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty excited for this next season. Um, I'm gonna be stepping into leadership in these next couple of months at church. So, um, just bringing you guys along that process and just keeping you guys, bringing you guys along in my walk with God um, is really awesome and I love that it helps you guys and um, it even helps me to, to hear you guys talk about your walk with God and that's the point of this channel is I just share to encourage and that's really what it's all about. and. I'm excited for this next season. I just finished my first trimester of Bible college and I'm going into my second trimester of Bible college. It's five trimesters, so that's awesome. And the next trimester is all about leadership and discipleship and I'm so, so excited to learn all about that. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next vlog. I missed you all a lot and I'm going to try to do an upload schedule of twice a week, once a week. So I'm thinking two, one, two, one. Um, I can't do two times a week yet, but eventually maybe I'll be able to. But for now, I want to try two, one, two, one, two, one and see how that works. But that's it for this vlog. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.